Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, uh, Zichrono Livracha, thought that wonder and awe were the center of the Jewish tradition. Wonder and awe are certainly important parts of the Jewish tradition, but I frankly think that gratitude is much more central. After it's all said and done, the first thing we're supposed to say when we get up in the morning is, I thank you, God, for having returned my consciousness to me. And we're supposed to say 100 blessings a day, thanking God for 100 different things. And in addition to that, in the Amidah that we say three times a day, there's the third last blessing is, We thank you. Um, for our lives uh, and, on, and for the miracles that are with us each day. Miracle, not in the sense of an interruption in the order of nature, but just the opposite, for the fact that nature is structured in such a way that we are able to live and maybe even thrive. So very often in our literature, we are asked to express thanks, to express gratitude for all kinds of things in our lives that are really important for us to be able to live, let alone thrive. Um, I think it also is a very important part of why ethics is really a central feature of the Jewish tradition. And as a matter of fact, in this new book that I just did called Ethics at the Center, Jewish Theory and Practice for Living a Moral Life, gratitude plays a major role in that. And why so? It's because I think when we say thank you to somebody or thank you to God, what we are saying is that we are not completely self-sufficient, that we recognize that we are dependent upon um, things outside of our lives and people outside of our lives that uh, in order for us to be able to live, let alone thrive again. Um, and that's important because the other piece of, of, of what's in my book is a, a, a central uh, conviction that epistemolo epistemological humility is something that we need to have. We need to have humility about what any human being can know. God may be omniscient, but no human being is. And so what we need to, to, uh, to recognize is that we should certainly do whatever we can do in order to learn as much as we can about all of the things in our lives that are important. But in the end, we have to recognize that we, are, we do not know everything and never can know everything. And so we have to be humble about both what we can know and also about what we can do. So epistemological humility is about what we can know and gratitude is about what we can do. And both of those, I think, are really central to being a Jew.